we start with James Madison, the man should at five feet four. Van Buren and Ben Harrison, they both two inches more. Five seven were McKinley and John Adams, like Tom Cruise. A half inch more, John Quincy Adams, excluding his shoes. Five feet eight four presidents to James Polk and Taylor too. William Henry Harrison and Randall Moore, they grew. Next, Rutherford B. Hayes measured five feet eight and one half. Fillmore and Truman were five nine, about the same as their staff. The president's stature, how tall or not they were. Their difference is about a foot, but it's just a number. A half inch more than they, Carter could brashly say, but then Coolidge and Pierce could look down at him, they were. 510, as was Andrew Johnson and Teddy Roosevelt, the Hoover. Ike was 510 and a half more on his tippy toes. Cleveland and Wilson reached 5 feet 11, a dead heat. Tap Nixon, Hoover, and Bush to buy a half inch had them beat. Now comes a group of six footers, a half inch higher. Monroe, Biden, Garfield, Harding, Ford, Buchanan, and Tyler. The president's stature, how tall or not they were. Their difference is about a foot, but it's just a number. Andrew, Jackson, JFK, and Reagan are six feet one. A little half inch taller, Obama and Washington. Six feet two, three, H.W. Bush, Arthur, and FDR. Then Jefferson and Clinton, six two and a half they are. Third from the top, Trump, six feet three, a lofty height I'd say. In second place, six feet three and a half was LBJ. At six feet four inches, Abraham Lincoln's the tallest. This all the president's height for good measure, they're the best.